you do not believe that AI is an existential threat to humans? Uh, I, basically, yeah. Um, I mean, it's hard to rule anything out, but yeah, I'm not very worried about it. Would you concede that the vast majority of the AI safety experts and AI company leaders all believe that extinction risk from AI is a real threat? I mean, I agree there are many of them. I don't, I have not personally done the survey. And again, like I said, I mean, the, I think the ones who are most concerned are most likely to speak out. So I agree there's many of them. I'm not going to say, you know, most or- But just or the generally, like the lists are not comparable. I mean, it's almost comparable to like climate change where you have 95% of the scientists saying one thing. And of course you can find 5% of the people to say anything, but the, the lists are not really equally weighted. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think there are, I don't know of anybody who's put together a anti-existential risk list. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not aware of a list on the other side. I, I don't know if that's because nobody believes that or because it's the people who are believe it don't want to speak up or what, I, I, I'm not sure. But yes, I agree. There's a, a list, a big list with people who are concerned and I'm not aware of a, a equal size list on the other side. I mean, I, I but I mean, to Hinton and Benji in particular, because they were they were on the side of, you know, we think everything's going to be OK. And then ChatGPT mm -hmm. comes out and they make this hard, hard, hard pivot to um, we're extremely concerned. And I just I just I, I mean, I hold them up as people who know a whole lot about this. So just to those two individuals in particular, what are your thoughts? Uh, I've never talked to either one of them. So. Um, I, but have you I, read I, what they've said or have you been exposed at all to, you know, what Jeffrey Hinton says, for example? I've. Said, seen a couple of his interviews, absolutely. Okay. So just to sort of his most basic premise, which is like any system that has goals will set sub-goals uh, to achieve those initial goals. And if it's unaligned, you don't control what those sub-goals are and they could unintentionally kill us all. Um, you know, you have your interpretability machine, which doesn't exist today, but let's just say it did. And it indicates to you that your AI system wants to kill you. It's smarter than you. What do you do next? Um, I'll not hook it up to any robots. Um, it's already on the uh, open internet. It's it's okay. like all the AI systems. It's out there. Then and, and so your uh, interpretability meter said ding 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 alarm. It's plotting to kill you. What's next? Um. Well, it would depend on the on the situation. Um, this is enough conversation for me. I mean, it seems seems clear you've had your mind made up, um, and so. Uh, oh, I do have my mind made, but you have your mind made up too, right? Um, is there something wrong with having my mind made up? No, but 